Pat, let me start with you. Um, sure. Is this the Republican Party's leadership going, oh, no, 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 get away, run away as quickly as possible from this birther issue? Well, I don't think the Republican Party is a monolith at all. I tend to agree with what Mitt Romney said when he said, I believe uh, Barack Obama born in Honolulu. I believe in the newspapers are probably dead accurate on that. But at the same time, I do agree with Donald Trump when he said, why is Barack Obama toying with the American people. Why doesn't he just produce this and end this controversy? I think it shows a real arrogance of power. And secondly, I will say this, why does not the White House press corps really push the press secretary and say, look, end this controversy, produce it, and get it over with? Well, uh, I am a member of the White House press corps, Pat, and I've got to tell you why we don't raise it at the press corps, because there are more important issues, like what's mm -hmm. happening with the debt, what's happening with the deficit, what's happening in Libya, what's happening in, in Iraq, what's happening with jobs. This mm -hmm. is a total non-issue, and Pat, in 2007, the president produced his birth certificate, the state of Hawaii, yes, the state of Hawaii too. <laughs> they did. They put it up online. That's what they do in Hawaii. End of story. But Jenk is right too. Do you really think, Pat, back in 1961, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. some woman in Kenya who gave birth to a baby said, now we have to plant a story somewhere, somewhere. Let's pick Honolulu and two mm -hmm. newspapers and put two notices in the newspaper because someday this little kid who's an hour old is going to run for president of the United States and has to have some evidence that he was born in this country. That's Come a good on. question, Pat. Do you believe it? Yeah, sure. No, I said I think the guy was born in Honolulu, but I want to know why the press corps doesn't take one question to the press secretary and Pat, tell Jay, we Jay, have, Pat, we Pat, have, Pat, we have times. We, we right, have, right, and we're not going to play your Tell game. me, Bill, tell me, Bill, <laughs> when you say to Jay Carney, Jay, why doesn't the president just release the birth certificate, get this over with, it's an enormous distraction for the country, MSNBC is transfixed with it. They ought to focus on the issues you talked about, Libya and Iraq. So please, Jay, ask the president no, to release well, his birth certificate well, for us. I think you do, do we one better, Pat. If you actually Google, right, Obama, right? birther, and you look at it, you will find that the person who asked the question <laughs> in the press briefing room was me. Bill right. Press, about a year and a half ago, of Robert Gibbs. I didn't wait for Jay Carney, and Robert Gibbs, Gibbs laid say? it all out, Pat, and what nobody else is going to go there because we're more serious. Pat, but it that. seems to me, Pat, you're falling in the same trap. I yeah. mean, you're mm -hmm. talking about is it a birth certificate or a certificate of birth when you know he's born in Honolulu. Everybody sane knows he's born in Honolulu. So why are you wasting your time on it and possibly costing yourself a general election? Well, first, I'm not running in the general election. Second, I'm wasting my time because you invited me on here to talk about the birther issue. And let me just say this. No, no, but again, again, but that's again, what I'm asking you, Pat. Is it a terrible idea got. for the Republicans hold to go it, down this road? Well, for heaven's sakes, Republicans take care of themselves. Look, but I'm, here's what I'm saying is, look, he did issue the certificate of live birth. And behind that, clearly the, the governor of Hawaii or health officials say, I've seen the birth certificate. It's right there. And the president will not not release it. All I'm asking yeah. is why? Yeah. I think you're born he, in Hawaii. Everybody he, does, Mr. President. Why don't you let us see it? It's a collector's item. He has released it. And you know here that Jenk here though, <laughs> this is the issue, Jenk. The issue is that there are too many Republicans like Pat who know it's not an issue, but who won't just dump on it and just get rid like for example like Carl Rove has done. Carl Rove has said this is a distraction. Don't talk about it. There are too yeah. many who want have it but both that's, ways. Look, Bill, let me, let me press on that. Hold on but one second, yeah. Pat. Let me press on that. Uh, sure. You know, is this a, a Frankenstein that they created and they were very <laughs> happy with it? Like insinuating, I don't know, this guy's kind of another, et cetera. But now that it's real, they're like, oh my God, we're going to lose the general election. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Yeah, so because, it's their fault, right? Well, the Supreme Court has refused three times to hear it. I think, yeah, I think they created this and now it's backfiring on them. And the problem is Donald Trump won't shut up. You just saw that interview with this guy. He's but, but not going to drop it because look what it is has done for him. He went from being a clown to being number one or number two in the polls. But look, you know, let me just say, look, Cenk, the, uh, the issue of the birthers, back in, before the election, I got emails on the stuff and you get them thanks, you read them and drop them off. You never raised it. I've never written a column on it. But I have been invited over 
here <laughs> hundreds of times to talk about the issue. Now, look, first you got the birthers who love the issue, then you got MSNBC loves the issue, and what? Adato loves the issue, and everybody seems to be having a no, nice no, time. Because, no, I'll well, tell you, you what, Pat. close to it by asking the president, please, Mr. President, no, but no, Pat, Pat, it's Pat, Pat, it's Pat, already, it. Pat, it's <laughs> online already. They Pat. already saw it. All those crazy yeah. theories have been debunked. Oh, the it didn't have the number. Itself? It does have the number. Wait. The grammar thing. It's already online, Pat. So send look. a copy to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I can show you the web address. You know what? I want to, uh, but look, look. One thing. But hold yeah. on. But because Pat, look. Here's the thing. The, the reason look. why it's an important issue is obviously it's ripping your party apart, right? And it looks like there was basically a memo sent to all the Republicans saying, "Okay, run away from this." I mean, you got Rove, you got Pawlenty, you got Romney, right. you got Cantor. They're all saying it at the same time, and they're throwing Trump under the bus. I mean, that, and that's that what you're... I'm asking you about. Right, okay, Do you Jay, think the Republican you're talking... leadership has said, now "Okay, we got to run away from this thing"? All right, now you're talking serious politics, okay? Now I understand why Romney is saying what he's saying, and Pawlenty and the others. But let me tell you, you got 74 percent if you add the people, the half of the Iowa Republicans who say he wasn't born in the United States, and the 26 percent say they don't know. That's three fourths of the Iowa Republican voters. And if Donald Trump is appealing to them politically, then that is not necessarily foolish politics in the narrow short term for him out there and those guys each of these candidates out there is I mean Romney's taking a position for the general election quite clear but I'm telling you you get 20 you know, 76 percent of the voters out there 70 74 percent I'd go out there and you know what I'd say I believe he was born in Hawaii but I agree with you folks we ought to see the birth certificate and then I would move on to my issues see that yeah, and I think I do very that, well as I yeah, did the last Pat, time Pat you know what you, you know what your guy once said famously there you go again Pat. but you know Jake Here's the problem, right? At some point, the party's got to decide, are they going to appeal to the fringe? Party, Which no. is, wait, Pat, wait, I listen to you, on the, in, in these Tea Party caucuses in Iowa, or do they want to win an election in 2012? They're not going to win on this issue, and they've got to get away from it. And now, but, but, it's gotten so ridiculous that the statesman person in the party is Jan Brewer. Who rose to the occasion <laughs> last night and vetoed this bill? But in Arizona, they said, "Well, if you don't have a birth certificate, you can give us your um, certificate of circumcision." I've I, I've read the Constitution. I don't see where in the Constitution. All right, Pat, that's last right. right. Let me, let me just word. make one more point here. Look. <laughs> Bill talks about the Republican Party as though it's in, in a monolith or an elite. The Republican Party is going to put down the directive that nobody can talk about this or that. We don't want that. We want a robust debate. Frankly, I'd love Ron Paul in there with his views on foreign policy. I'd love to see Sarah Palin with her views on right to life and social conservative. I got no problem with Donald Trump. If he wants to raise that issue or any issue, let the voters decide for heaven's sake instead of the party. Here's what you must do. And Karl Rove telling us the positions we must take. I don't care what it is. All right. Pat's very clear on the record. You coming back in, Pat? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I want to see your birth certificate uh, right now. I got it. Providence Hospital, Bill. <laughs> All right. MSNBC political analyst and possible future candidate, Pat Buchanan. Heard it here first. <laughs> and, and that's right. And Bill Press. Thank you both, guys.